What is up guys, this is Doe here, and I am bringing you my very first After Effects tutorial for beginners. <clears throat> I got my coke, I got my timer, I think I'm all set, and I hope you guys are too. So, first we're going to need After Effects, obviously, and the first thing that you're going to need to do before you actually start editing is you're going to need to bring a clip in. So, I'm, I have a couple clips on my desktop, I'll just drag this in, and... Um, this, was for, well, this was for an editing contest, uh, and you can see it has everything that an editor needs. It has 1280 by 720, <coughs> 59.94 frames per second, H.264 format. It is uh, 10 seconds long. And so there are two ways to make a composition so that you can actually bring it into your timeline. You can either make composition new, um, 1280, 720 square pixels, 9.94, and you can change the duration, so I can make it 30 seconds. Make sure it's on square pixels, by the way, you don't want anything else. And you need to match the frame rate, but my frame rate is already matched. So you click that, and you can just drag this down, and then, ta-da, you have it all ready to start editing. Or, let's delete this composition, and you can just drag this, let's actually delete that too. Delete. You can drag this clip down to this little film reel looking thing, and it'll make a perfectly custom made composition built for it. So if we use a time navigator, we can actually see, actually, I guess we can't really, but we can see that it is about 10 seconds long. That's 10 and 30, and then this is around 10.5. 10.5 and as we see here it's 10.5 so after we're done with this we're gonna need to know how to navigate you can say so I'm going to bring you up to the tools palette and what we have is our selection tool and you can use you just use it to select stuff like click here click here and uh, that's it's really easy to use um, you now we're gonna use the typical pedophile hamburger helper mix glove Michael Jackson Club, whatever you want to call it. And what it will do is it will change, you can move this around, you can move your composition around, but you don't have to change the position. So here's an example. Oh, I have to change back to selection tool. You open up this um, clip, you open up transform, and here's your position. Now, if I move this clip around with without the hamburger, hamburger helper glove, it will change the position. So if you look down here while I move this around, it will change the position. But change this back to default and then I use a hamburger helper glove it won't move it'll move the clip with the composition so if you if you ever need help like making a really big mask if you need to expand the mask down here that's what the hamburger helper glove is for so I'm gonna delete this mask now I'm going to uh, it's not what I wanted Move the comp back down. This is your zoom tool. You can zoom in. Zoom in a lot. But I prefer this little tab right here. I, I, I like to keep the composition at 50. But you can go to 12.5. If you're a boss, you can edit at 1.5. Never tried it, and I never will. I like to edit at 50. So I don't. you don't really need to know this, but obviously this is for rotating. Ooh. You can rotate the composition, or not the composition, the clip like that. Click Command Z. Um, I won't teach you how to use the camera because you're not really going to need it that much. I'll make, I'll make a separate tutorial if it's requested, but I won't really cover that. I never use the pan behind tool, so I don't know how to use it. Now I'm going to skip this for a second. This is your pen tool, and it is your masking tool. And you're going to, I briefly used it for a second, so you probably know what it is. But you can mask out certain things like this sniper scoop. I think I'll do that real quick. I won't make it too good. Yeah, you see, I just garboed it. And there it is. A really poorly made mask. Um, I made it in like five seconds, so calm down, people. Um, and yeah, it, a mask is a mask. I can't I don't really know how to explain it, but this is what it does. And you can also there. I'll make another masking tutorial along with the series, but you can invert it so everything's masked out but what you originally had, and yeah, I'm going to leave that though, and I'm going to go over 
this button with you. So this makes perfect masks. This makes masks that are perfectly rectangular, rounded, rectangular, ellipse, polygon, and star. I'm gonna go over rounded. Just makes a rounded rectangle. I mean, you can't hate on a rounded rectangle. Rounded rectangles are perfect. Um, you can change the settings, you can feather it, but I'll cover that in my masking tutorial. So, command Z, command Z, command Z, command Z. Perfect. Okay, so now, you can, last thing that we really need to cover, I'm not going to cover any of this because you, you don't need to know it. Text is you're probably going to need to know this. When you click the text thing and then you click it on your clip, it'll make another layer. It'll make a layer, text one, it'll say, depending on how many text layers that you made. I'm just going to type in text. How you change the text is that you have to highlight it first, and you can change the font size. I'll change it to 50. As you see, it's really tiny. I'll change it to like 300. Or, that's not what I wanted. Text. And I'll change it to 300 in here. And then we can change the font um, just by clicking in here. As soon as it will decide to open. Or not. We can just not look at the fonts. There we go. Beltar, um, and you can change it from regular, uh, I guess the only option you have is regular. I thought there was going to be like a bold or something in there. Let's see if there is bold. Ah, uh, screw it, never mind. So, another thing that I want to go over with you guys really quick is the timeline and how it works. So, if you have a layer on top of, if you have two layers, you can, I can explain it to you. So, the text, the top layer is always going to be dominant, and it is going to affect everything below it. So you see the text is visible over everything. So what it's going to work is it's going to work kind of like a sandwich. And it is going to be the very top part. And you're basically flipping the top of the sandwich over and you're looking at it. So this is going to be what you see first. This is going to be the very top bun and it's going to be perfect. No, I don't know. But if we drag the clip on top of the text, the text is invisible because the clip is covering it. But if we move it over, actually, you need to make the text a different color. Or we can make our composition a new color. Composition settings, white. And now you see that we have the text in the background because our clip is no longer covering it. Our top button fell off. So I'm going to command Z this. And I have two minutes left, so I'm going to make the most of those two minutes. Uh, only thing that I'm going to cover next with you guys is the preview palette. And this is relatively simple, guys. Um, the first button is to go to the first frame in your composition. So you just click it, and it goes, brings you to the very beginning. Um, this button over here brings you to the last frame, and will bring you to the very end of the composition. It's, the very end is corrupt, so I'm going to kind of highlight this. Composition, trim comp to work area. Oh no, you can't do that in this situation, never mind. So I'm just gonna split the layers, I'm going to delete them. Uh, I'll go over trim comp to work area in the second tutorial, or I'll try to if I remember. And so we covered those two buttons here and here. I'm gonna cover the back button, previous frame, click it and it just goes to the back frame. Click the next frame, it'll bring you to the next frame, obviously, and the play pause button is play and pause. And uh, I also want to cover RAM previewing, and here's what RAM previewing is. I'll play it real quick. It basically plays over your footage so that you can preview what you've done, how you've edited it, and see if you want to make any changes. So, let's say you want to RAM preview 7 seconds, but you don't want to RAM preview all this because you have bunch of layers and it would take an hour to run preview. This is your work area. You, If you want to preview, let's say, six to seven seconds, you're going to drag it over to six and drag the end over to seven. And then when you run preview, we will only preview this part, which is kind of neat. Um, I am running out of time. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. But, or just at least give me feedback, guys, because it's what motivates me. Um, I hope that this tutorial helped you in some way if you're a beginner in After Effects. The next tutorial will also go a little bit more in-depth with more options. But um, for this is the first tutorial for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's been Doe, and I'm out. Thanks, guys.